Big Nasty joins us. You know, Big Nasty is a rapper, TV presenter, yeah. comedian. Um, but he's not quite as big as he was. He had a health scare a, a, a couple of years back. A uh, bit of a reality check for him. Um, he got on a fitness kick and he wants to share that with other people. And hopefully, Very nice. If you're struggling uh, to uh, kind of get you into a healthier lifestyle. Nasty, good afternoon. How you doing, champ? Yeah, we got very good. Yeah, yeah let's it go, is. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. How, um, so yeah, I mean, I, I just sort of precede exactly what happened to you, but yeah, you 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 collapsed, nasty, didn't you? And it was a, a wake up call. Yeah, man. Um, like seven years ago, I did a um, celebrity bake off, and after I did the first um, episode, by the night time, took toll for the worst. Like exhaustion just hit up with me. Before I did the bake off, I just came off a two week tour. And um, obviously, rock star lifestyle, mm. no sleep, nine days, eight hours sleep. And my body just gave up, man. Mm. My body just gave up. And then, yeah, from that moment there, I was lying on the bed. And I'm saying to myself, imagine, like, I tried to graft to get rewards. And now I'm going to be in a position that I've got rewards and I can't enjoy it. Like, what was, what was all the graft for? I wonder if he'll have to change his name, Paul. I wonder, <laughs> if, he'll, wonder if he'll drop the big. Well, how how still, tall I mean, is he? He's still a big man. Yeah. I mean, you, you see, I've seen recent pictures of him, and he's, yeah, he's still a, he's, you know, I think, I don't think he's, he's, he's in, he doesn't need to change that. Oh, now. okay. I don't think he's at that position, but, he, you know. Yeah, because sometimes, I went to the London Palladium once, and someone says, oh, for that, oh, you need to see um one of the backstage guys, big, big lad, you need to go and see big lad, right? Yeah. And I go, all right, I'll go and see whoever this big lad is, right? Yeah. But there's big lad about, big lad about, but comes out, he's like six foot or something. Well, I, I think we... It wasn't think, that big, Paul. I Disappointing. Bad nickname for him it was. It, we got nasty back. Thank goodness for that. Yeah, uh, hopefully we're hoping for a better line, nasty. So, so you were telling us that um, you decided, you know, you'd grafted hard for success, and you were slightly worried that yeah. it was all going to go up in smoke because of your health. But you, you turned it round. Yeah, man, your body's like a car. When you buy a car, we're all, all impressed about how the car looks in it, mm. and the seat belt be the least fashionable thing about your car. But in times of crisis and emergency that seatbelt becomes the most important thing of the car. And it's the same with our bodies. Our bodies are kind of just put through the powers and tests to, to do the journey. And it's only when the body starts to break down, you appreciate how much you need the body to do what you want to do. Prime mm -hmm. example, maybe you guys, you guys are probably might have had to push your bodies to the limit to get to the position where you've got to, mm -hmm. but you have tired and an opportunity's come. You've got a contemplation between, do I put my head down and get some sleep or do I, suck it up and take this opportunity to better my career. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And the yeah, more you have to time work hard. we do it, 100%. And the more time we do it without having the right information about how to eat right and do stuff, do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a never-ending struggle where it's like a bittersweet success. Mm. But thanks, good good luck, love to um, Slim Fast. Um, like... The good thing what I liked about working up with Slim Fast, um, they didn't try to make me portray something I'm not. Okay. I'm I'm not a super athlete. I'm a person. He's on a healthy lifestyle journey. He's trying to get to his goals by living in a realistic world. So this is not um, a thing where you just drink this and in two weeks you're going to have the perfect body. No, they also help you with good diet plans, um, nutrition. Another thing is like the person with the most information wins. You got to think a lot of um, poor generation kids, um, middle class, lower class. We don't really have the privy to good eat plans and diet plans. Mm. We're just fortunate for the cheap and cheerful chicken shops will give us give <laughs> us our grub for price. So do you know what I mean? Even being able to open our food vocabulary, mm. like to look look out of our basic comfort zones and foods we like. Um, I've lost a lot of weight due to like eating better, and um, I, I do mixed martial arts. Um, I've been studying at the Shaolin Temple for a while. Wow. Um, yeah, I trained with the only blind black belt jujitsuist in the country, Zain Baid. So um, my love for mixed martial arts, trying to be a Kung Fu Panda, is <laughs> what I needed. Do you know what I mean? It's just finding a sport or something and a lifestyle, what what suits you, what makes you happy. Yeah. Yeah, that's the key, isn't it? I think finding a sport that you can do, you know, a mixture yeah. of, say, good diet, exercise as well. It's got to be a bit of both, isn't it, really? 
Yeah, sorry. Oh, one moment, lads. Millwall! Oh, yeah, right. a bit of that. A bit of Millwall. Yeah, very nice. Very yeah, nice. Millwall. Yeah, what do you, what do you yeah. eat on a match day then, uh, Nasty? I saw, actually, I saw you on Big Zoo's show once. Cooking, I think it's cooking an, an egg and a chicken sandwich, and I was interested to know which way you were going to put them round, <laughs> know which one came first. But yeah. what, do you, what do you eat on a match day now? On a match day, hmm. boom, it's all about how you start the day. Yeah, so I start the day with the Nasty Smash. The Nasty Smash contains, yeah, one slim fast white chocolate and raspberry yeah. oh, nice. drink, adding a banana, a little bit of nutmeg, so you can taste the Caribbean. You know the <laughs> ones that I have seen from there? Yeah, and that, smash that, you worship Rastafari, and then boom, you hit the gym, yeah? Okay. You complete yeah. your maximum violence, getting your head kicked in someone else's head. Right. You feel powerful and alive. Get it right, and then you smash a healthy munch, minted lamb. You know about minted nah. nice. lamb, but in a major bar, creamy potatoes with carrots and stuff in it. Oh, let's go, chap. Yeah, and then off nice. to Millwall. Exactly. I mean, for the slim, fast, minty gonna... lamb and jujitsu, <laughs> where you might practice what you've just learned. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Some <Yeah>. weeks stand. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Not, like that. <laughs> not been like that for years. So, so, so you've got Manchester United, the your, your club that your big club that wins things, as Max Rushton would say. Mm. And, but Millwall's in your heart. Is that why? Eric, it's hard to love two clubs, isn't it? No, it's very simple. Eric Cantona is the best of all time. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, and he showed me. He will take no violations and he will free up the molded studs, yeah, if any disrespect is taken on the pitch. That is epic stuff. And yeah, Crystal Palace or Millwall, South London born and raised, isn't it? It's just, it's just a natural one. Yeah. I think they lost last night, didn't they? Lost to yeah, it was yeah, they've been beat, I think they've been beaten 4-0 by but they are, twice. They're just on the cusp of the old relegation zone now. They're, yeah. they're sort of down there. They sort of crept up on them a little bit. I'd not noticed it had... They go down. They win. They they go down. They win the league, don't they? They go not often win League One or at least come. I don't think they're going. I don't think they'll go. But I mean, it happens to the best of us. Not as bad as West Ham's beating to Arsenal. It's long ago. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that was that was a bit of a shocker, wasn't it? So, how are you feeling about Manchester United? They're going to make top four. Do you think, Nasty? No, I think I need to write yeah a powerful poem to Alex Ferguson mm. yeah, and I maybe need to play Bon Jovi yeah, still roses outside his window, and like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Trying to ease into his emotional side and let him come back and sort this stuff out. Okay, okay. Well, okay. Just, if he's listening this afternoon, then we, yeah. we'll see if he can. And um, by the way, one of the listeners has told us that this afternoon. Um, there was uh, a horse rust. The Racing Value on Twitter told us there's a horse running called Big Nasty this afternoon. Yes. Were you aware of that? It's a, ho- a race Southwell. horse. And it, yeah, it ran <laughs> yeah. at Southall, yeah. yeah. And it, um, it came third at nine to one. Yeah, you got Rebel Racing. It must be, yes. Must so be, you, know yeah. about, you know the guys, do you? Yeah, yeah, big up Rebel Racing, good peoples, man. So you got That's no, you're not involved in the horse. You just, but you're aware of it. You're not, you're not a part owner or anything. Not giving the horse a, a big nasty special before it goes out. <laughs> no, fantastic. Okay. So we're at third today, yeah, nine third to one. So we're keeping nice. on there. Nasty, good to talk to you. Yeah, keep, keep up keep the good work. All the best. Thank you very much. Cheers. Take care. Cheers. Yeah, See you later. Nice. There's big nasty there. Um, exercise and diet, of course. Yeah, it's are, yeah, it's of a course. simple it's equation, way, isn't it? You know, it, it's not always easy to achieve. Well. Why are you looking at me like that? No, I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm looking at you because... You were I'm... holding my eye contact when you said... <laughs> Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs. Monday to Friday afternoons, 1 till 4. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.